Yeah. We on? All right. To y'all motherfuckers out there, man. Oh, ha ha, he can. You know what I'm saying? Celebrate my guys, Kevin Samuel's death. You know what I'm saying? Thinking that shit funny and shit. You know what I'm saying? Hey. Fuck you. Oh, fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Straight like that on everything I love, man. But yeah, man, it's your boy 2700, man, and we back with another video, y'all. And today on the list, man, we got no other than Florence, Alabama. Yeah, I said it, Florence, Alabama coming in in the list, man. And we got a correctional officer releases a murder inmate. So, you know what I'm saying, and escapes with him at that. So definitely got to see what that about, you know what I'm saying? But before we get up in this video, y'all, man, make sure y'all do me a favor. Make sure y'all like, comment, share, and subscribe. Yeah, do me that favor. Also, man, make sure y'all follow me on Instagram. Description will be down below, man, so y'all can DM me with videos like this. But, hey, without anything else needing to be said, shit, let's get right on up in the video, y'all. Armed, dangerous, unpredictable, and on the run. Police are warning everyone tonight, nationwide, mm. be on the lookout. Good evening to you. I'm Marnie Hughes. This is a special edition of News Nation Prime for you tonight. One hour focused on this case and this manhunt. With new information and exclusive interviews that you have never seen before now. Vicki White, a former Alabama corrections officer, who isn't who people thought she was. And Casey White, a murder suspect. So look, Casey White gotta be the guy over there. She gotta be um, <clears throat> the lady, cause but they got three pictures up there. So I'm guessing this is her changing identi uh, identifications, man. She been changing identities, man. So y'all gotta definitely tune in on this story because I guess she been buying cars and other shit, you know what I'm saying, with other identities, and this is her wigs and stuff she was wearing in those pictures, man, trying to look young, and this, that, and the third, and that's old boy over there, the inmate nigga, man, so, that's crazy, and I guess they got pictures of his old pictures or how he can look now or be playing a role, I don't, I don't know, man, that shit, wow, can't believe this shit. Who is much more evil than anyone could have imagined. This is an unlikely pair caught up in a web of lies and deceit. She had everyone fooled. He has nothing to lose. It has been seven days since she broke him out of jail in Alabama, and they could be anywhere. And within the last few hours, that getaway car we've all been looking for has been found. It's that copper-colored SUV Vicky purchased using an alias. It was discovered nearly four hours north of Florence, Alabama. Abandoned and towed, and no sign of these fugitives. My gut, gut is telling me that uh, they're on the, they're obviously on the run, and uh, <laughs> right, so you know, that shit they're up. probably right now. You know, I, I think the fact that that they abandoned this car so quick and where they abandoned it, I think it threw them a curve. I don't think they planned for that. What? They could be anywhere right now, and until exactly. they are caught, no one is safe. I want to bring in senior national correspondent Brian Enton. He is joining us live tonight from Florence, Alabama. Brian, now that the getaway car has been found, police are starting back at square one, essentially. The sheriff seems to think that dumping that car was not part of their plan. Yeah, Marnie, the sheriff believes that that car actually broke down. It was found in a rural part of Tennessee, but the sheriff says it was not necessarily a uh, hidden, which makes him think that they had some kind of maintenance problem with it. What's interesting is they did appear to uh, try to spray paint the car to change the color of it. But what's so frustrating right now for law enforcement, Marnie, uh, is that car was actually discovered a week ago in Tennessee. Someone spotted it, thought it was odd that it was abandoned. It was towed to a tow yard, but it was not until until today uh, that the law enforcement officials in Tennessee contacted the sheriff's office here uh, in Alabama and said, wait a minute, we think this is their car. Uh, so it basically gave uh, Vicki and Casey 
one week uh, to run, and no one even knew they weren't in the car anymore. Yeah. Brian, you've been on the ground there for about 24 hours, digging, talking to people who knew both Vicky and also Casey. And I mean, this tangled web that they created and have everybody duped for the last couple of years has gotten more and more bizarre. Um, the more hours that pass by and the more time they're out there, the bigger the risk is. Um, so you've been following the breadcrumbs. And as I said to you uh, last night, there are a lot. There are a lot. This is definitely a community and a region on edge right now. Everyone uh, knew this couple. People especially knew Vicki White because she was from this town. She worked at the jail for almost two decades, and people are still trying to mentally process how all of this could have happened. Almost no one could have suspected that Vicki White, the longtime assistant director of corrections in Lauderdale County, Alabama, had such a secret dark side. What is Vicki like? Solid was my word for. Um, <laughs> so when this happened, it was such solid. a shock. Yeah, but she's solid. She was right. not a big talker, is not a big talker, but got things done. Lauderdale County District Attorney Chris Connolly has worked with Vicki for 16 years. Yeah, it's like the stages of grief. You could say this unbelievable, this didn't happen. And then, um, you know, you get to the point where I am now, which is, which I'm mad that she did this. Inmates inside the jail are also shocked. This woman just bonded out. Yeah, did you ever get a weird vibe from her when you were in jail? No, not at all. Like she, uh, no, I, I never did. I never thought that she would, uh, you know, break any kind of rules like that. Um, you know, she, she was the person you could go to if you uh, were having problems with any kind of COs or anything like that. Having been in jail, are you surprised that she was able to get him out like that? No. Mm -mm. Why not? <laughs> because uh, the, it's chaos here. Detectives are piecing together the days oh, before yeah. Vicky vanished with inmate Casey White. Oh, yeah. Oh, there no, have been reports no. Vicky was seen inside bitch. this department store buying men's clothing. Workers inside told me they could not comment. And others report seeing Vicky at this adult store before she took off. A woman working inside told me her lawyer advised her not to talk about whether or not Vicky was a customer. The sheriff what? confirms Vicky and Casey were having a romantic relationship. Vicky lived in this house 18 miles from the Lauderdale County Jail, but sold the house days before she disappeared with Casey for $90,000, well mm. under market value. Is that all money that she would have? Like, is it cash? Is it... My understanding is that yes, that she she got that money out of the bank, and, and, you know, in cash, and you know, and I saw where her mother said she was also a frugal person, so she likely had a pretty sporty amount of money on top of that. Vicky was divorced, but still lived with her ex until he passed away in January from Parkinson's. They had no kids, and the sheriff wonders if she was grief stricken. You know, they've been divorced for several years, but I think they were still on speaking terms. Uh, and and I don't. I've wondered if that might have had something to do with with this or, or not. Vicky's mom Pat lives right next door to the house Vicky lived in. She did not want to go on camera, but told me this is not the daughter she knew, and that all of this has come as a total shock. But there are some people. Hold on, yeah, hold on, yeah. They talk about all this shit is coming at us. If, if, if if, I don't know if y'all watching what I'm watching, but if y'all watching what I'm watching, because this shit sounds, this is say conspiracy all over. This got government officials and more people written all over it. First of all, do y'all see? Did y'all see that woman house that she sold for ninety thousand under property? And did do y'all think that her mama did not know that was going on, or the government didn't know that was being sold? Nigga, her mama stay right next door, nigga. They know everybody knew that house was being sold. And then they trying to play stupid like the dang car because the car got dropped left in the bandit that they happened to be man they probably gave that car to a crackhead like they they probably still up in alabama somewhere around i mean come on brother is y'all working with them is y'all working with the fugitives they've been on the run for two years and uh what is that uh, america's most wanted they ain't had they ain't reported this shit so it, that shit is crazy. And America's more wanted. They working with the CIA, FBI, and all that shit. And how the hell that shit ain't been uh, reported? Man, y'all report everything else. That's crazy. Y'all report everything else, but you telling me that y'all ain't report this? this and then here it is, y'all reporting it now. And here it ended up being two years they've been gone. And be, 
because y'all found a car that they most likely gave to a crackhead Ben let that go she probably been and had another car way ahead she didn't have the cars way before they did she didn't plant the escape she done went and got the clothes man already way before man y'all playing the game and then they telling the lawyers is telling the the people not to say nothing to the news media man why not y'all got something to do with it y'all suspects man that's deep it's deep you can't make this up bro you cannot make this up i have i've never seen nothing like this a, a, a murder inmate escapes from prison ain't nobody know <laughs> ain't nobody here they is trying to make it seem like the the lady, she was, uh, she, uh, oh, she's a victim of grief and all oh, this, like nobody know, man, everybody know, man, come on now, people, come on, don't play like nobody know, man, don't play like nobody, that, I hate when y'all do that shit, because y'all play on the other minds and the people that don't know shit, you know what I'm saying, I hate when y'all do that shit and put, try to put the media and put the news out there like that, this some BS, man, straight like that. <laughs> Y'all file it. Y'all file for this one. Y'all know y'all file for this one. And y'all on some weird shit. Somebody need to really look into this. Like somebody need to look into the whole government behind this, man. That's why I say, man, we need to rewrite the Constitution because y'all doing funny shit, man. And this Constitution it wasn't written for no minorities, man. It was only written for y'all white folks. That's why y'all can do shit like this and ain't nobody know about it. A whole two years later, man, that woman, they probably getting somewhere in... uh. Mexico or South America, somewhere where the where U.S. money is a lot of money. $30,000, like a million dollars down there. You know what I'm saying? Didn't uh, 6 9 just get somebody a million dollars down there? That was like, what, $50,000 in USA money or something? Like, it really wasn't that much money in U.S. And that was a million dollars over there. Oh, they was great. You go over there with, oh, 90K. And she had more money? And he talking about, uh, oh, yeah, I believe so. No, you know so. You acting like you don't want to say it, nigga. You know so, nigga. Yeah, she, she got more money. From the dude that she was playing like she liked, which was her ex, and she already he let go because she already owned to this nigga, but she kept staying, staying with the nigga to get all the money because I guarantee you, old boy uh, uh, Casey, he done put that Mac and that prison talk on her, you know what I'm saying, let her know, yeah, no, yeah, baby, <laughs> you got to get all that money. Oh, yeah, and he about to go out, oh, man, or you might slip him some drugs, he might have murdered, she might have murdered him, you don't even know about that. That's another conspiracy, you got to look into that, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> like for real. All this shit, especially if she got money off of that death. Oh, no. That, that shit wild. But, yeah, let's finish this video see what they talking about. I ain't gonna hold y'all up, man. Talk too much, man. My bad, man. Who For knew real. Vicky who are not as surprised? Right now, we're going to meet up with one man uh, who worked with Vicky at the jail. Nobody is surprised. <laughs> Nobody from there that has worked that has worked with her in the past. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Y'all heard that, man. Y'all heard what he said. He said, ain't nobody. So I just got through talking about this, this shit, and he just said that. He said, nobody at work with a surprise. Vicky at the jail. Nobody is surprised. And this nigga worked with Nobody from there that, had worked, that has worked with her in the past is surprised. Vicky was Tyson Johnson's boss for what? seven years at the jail before he says he was wrongfully terminated. He says she is smart and calculated and has a dark side. Where do you think she is right now? That's a good question. She, uh, that is a very good question. Uh, honestly, I don't think she'll be found. Like, she is calculated enough that she has thought this entire thing out. She definitely outsmarted the sheriff. She outsmarted the administrator of the jail. The U.S. Marshals released these photos showing Casey White's tattoos and also what Vicky might look like with brown hair. And also, Vicky used the tanning bed a lot and laid out in the sun. And uh, Vicky may have been 57 years old, but she looks 75. The photos that they're releasing of her, there's a filter. They're all bright, uh on the face because it's not showing the true her. A lot of people, former employees that have called me, it's like if Vicky dyed her hair gray and put on some old lady clothes and glasses, you she could walk right by you and you would <laughs> never know it. Man. How long will Vicky and Casey avoid capture? Their getaway car now found, but law enforcement admits the fugitives have been one step ahead of them and could be anywhere. I think that her knowledge of corrections and her knowledge of, of uh, the procedures that, that we use here in the sheriff's office on transport uh, most definitely played to her advantage. Come on, get it right, I think sir. this was a very well thought out plan. Do you personally think they're far away? I do. <laughs> I do. Right. <laughs> I mean, I, I can't see her as smart as she is 
hold up somewhere around here, but who knows? I, I, obviously, I didn't know her as well as I thought I did. And important to point out, if anyone sees Vicki or Casey White, the sheriff uh, is emphasizing to stay away. They believe the couple right now is armed and dangerous. They believe they have an AR-15 and a shotgun. Marnie? Yep, so people are looking for them, Brian. Their pictures are plastered everywhere. He's 6'9", so he's hard to miss. But you talked to some people today who said they're likely changing their disguise, so you may not be looking for what you think you're looking for. Absolutely. The district attorney, uh, who is very much a part of this investigation, says they are working on one theory that it is possible uh, that they have a wheelchair with them and that Vicky is actually pushing Casey in a wheelchair and that he may have a wig on to disguise himself as a woman. Uh, she has him in the wheelchair, possibly, so that you can't tell how tall he is. Uh, they're not sure that that's what's happening. It's one thing they're looking into. Uh, they're also not sure where they are tonight. They say at this point they could be anywhere. And if you see them, do not approach them. Call 911. Brian, you'll be joining us later in the show oh, with another okay, update. Man. We'll see you then. Thank Listen, man, that's the end of the video, man. I ain't gonna live all that shit. <laughs> Listen, this shit is crazy, y'all, man. You can't, you can't make this up, man. You can't make this up. They need to get, first of all, they need to get rid of the sheriff. Yeah, the, the, he too old, man. He talk about, oh, yeah, they, oh, they around here. Boy, $90,000. Not you know for a fact they got away with ninety thousand. You know for a fact they got away with ninety thousand dollars. You talking about? I know people that that been on the run. If you are if you're a professional now, you're a professional. I know people that been on the run, real serious runs. You know what I'm saying? I know bullshit with no money, and have left the state. Oh yeah, they gone. They, they, they gotta get up out of there. This woman sold her house, and you are expecting her to still be in the same state. You can't make this up. You you gotta go. Yeah, go and get them off the city. Yeah, vote him out. Everybody in the, the Florence, Alabama, is that where they from? Vote him out of there, man. Yeah, yeah, you gotta go, man. You wasting time. You wasting time. And to the FBI and CIA that work with the uh, America's Most Wanted, man. Hey, somebody, y'all comment down below. Let me know if America's Most Wanted have uh have uh pulled this shit up and said anything. Cause if they ain't said nothing, the government got something to do with this shit. Mm -hmm. They let them get away for two years. <laughs> These people probably overseas. They know where they at. Overseas or, you know what I'm saying? Somewhere out the country kicking it, man. Yeah. He living his best life. Man, murder, man, murder inmate. I ain't, listen, I done seen people that wasn't even murder inmates. They was like, Y'all can go back and look, man. America's most wanted. They'd have been the smaller shit than that, and they have blast that shit all over the news too, throughout the whole country. America, America's most wanted, and who did who, man? Man, it's on the news channel. America's most wanted. They got it on the news on the Facebook. They got it on the. They got it on everything, man. Now y'all tell me this been two years. Y'all just now saying something, and ain't nobody know about that. That's funny to me, man. I don't know, man. Y'all, y'all, let me know what y'all think, man. Cause I, I, I don't know what to say, man. This is funny. It's, it seemed like the government know that she had, she had something to do. Uh, she was, uh, they already know the government officials got something to do with helping her escape. That's what I think. So that's why they was covering up and not saying something, cause it could expose a lot of motherfuckers that done helped her. Like that's crazy, bro. But um. You know what I'm saying? Hey, this is allegedly, man. Ain't nobody never know, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think. And uh, definitely do me a favor, man, to get more videos like this, man. Make sure y'all like, comment, share, and subscribe. Do me that favor, man. Also, follow me on Instagram so y'all can DM me with more videos like this. My description will be down below, man. But yeah, man, this shit crazy. It's wild to me that, you know what I'm saying, people ain't gonna be knowing about this and ain't been saying shit. But um, like I said, man, y'all, it's your boy 2700, y'all, and I'm gone. You gon' make